Hare Krishna. So, many devotees still have their desire to read their offering, but unfortunately, due to time constraints, and since the devotee were able to speak, it won't be possible to ask many devotees to read their offerings today. Like, please send, give your offering to those who have given your offering in the books. Then I will get a chance to read them. And if your offerings are not in the books, then you can just give me the copy and I will read at my convenience and I'll also post them in BCS Ishtagoshti so that everybody can get a chance to read. But I will read one offering myself now this offering is written by one young girl who, due to some sickness, is in a wheelchair. She lost her ability to walk, but still she goes to school and she is the topper in the class. That girl is Mohini. Parashuram and Shamangi Radhika's daughter. She was a little girl when Parshuram and Shamangi left Surat to join as full-time devotees and went to Ujjain. So I know Mohini since she was just a little girl. Now she is about 14 years old. So she wrote a letter, she wrote an offering, and it was naturally very special to me. And it was not only very special, it was very touching also. <coughs> so that's why I thought that I would share it with all of you. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to your divine lotus feet. If I go back to my memory, when I was just a little girl, a girl who had hardly started to know the world, I realized that since the early years, since the early years of my life, you have played a very important role in my life and have held a very important place in my heart. You are the one who helped me know Krishna and you are the one who made me start loving Krishna. You gave us the opportunity to live in Ujjain so that we could be near you and Krishna. And I don't know how to thank you for this gift you gave us because the years I spent in Ujjain were the best years of my life. I miss all those small, small savers we used to do. That happiness of spending the whole day in the temple among endless other things. However, I still have those memories to live with. 
Sometimes I feel that it would have been so nice if we had get the opportunity to meet Srila Prabhupada, to serve him. But then another thought comes to my mind that at least I am getting the opportunity to serve you and other devotees of Krishna and should utilize this opportunity of mine nicely. Guru Maharaj, I feel so safe under your shelter because I know that you will always protect me. No. No matter what happens. I always wonder how you love everyone so much and how remember everyone always. And although I know that your purity is the answer to my question, it still can't get satisfied with this answer because I am not pure enough to understand this art of yours. I am feeling that the gap between me and Krishna is gradually increasing and I really don't want to let that happen because then I will become lost in this world and will get entangled here for I can't imagine how long and so I really need your blessings so that my restlessness to get back to God Golo Vrindavan increases day by day, which would actually be restlessness to serve Krishna in whichever situation he puts me in. And the enthusiasm to serve his devotees always increases. Sorry Guru Maharaj, but I am unable to find words for what I am wanting to say, but I hope that you understand my thoughts and feelings. I just need your mercy and that's enough for me to survive here. Sometimes when I very when I'm very sometimes when I'm very frustrated due to my physical condition, I pray to Krishna to just cure me. But as soon as I say this sentence to him, I also say to not listen to me and do whatever is best for me. But that's not fair. How can I just do that to myself? Why am I unable to ask him to cure me? Just because, <coughs> just because that's not the right thing to ask for, I want to be in a situation which Krishna thinks is best for me. Then why do I have to face such confusing feelings Guru Maharaj, please help me to overcome such feelings and emotions and please help me to surrender myself completely to Krishna. Please keep blessing me so that I can do whatever ideally should be done by a devotee. A very happy birthday Guru Maharaj. We all are missing you a lot. So, please come very soon to Pune. Hope, <coughs> hope this meets you in good health. Your granddaughter, Mohini. It's really very amazing to see that in spite of being in such a difficult condition, she was perfectly all right. Uh, she was, I remember in Ujjain, she was just running around everywhere in the temple. But then this physical difficulty developed and she started to lose the strength of her feet and lower part of her body practically became uh, incapable and she's in a wheelchair and 
her parents tried practically every possible means to treat her to get the cure but there was no cure for that and but in spite of being in such difficult condition she maintains such a wonderful spirit of krishna consciousness you can see from that letter and uh, this is also another example that how physical difficulty actually helps us to become krishna conscious if we are in a right spirit if we are in a right understanding then physical difficulties become actually the impetus to become krishna conscious actually our real existence is not in this material body our real existence is in our spiritual identity but as long as we have the body as long as the body is healthy we must try to use this body in the service of krishna otherwise this body material body is an impediment material body our senses drags us towards sense gratification stronger the body more capable the body the tendency will be to go towards sense gratification durbar or indriya kram the the urges of the senses are impossible to overcome dhayati vishayan punksha and the senses are constantly making us run towards the objects of the senses but as long as we have the body healthy body therefore we must try our best to use that body in the service of krishna the body the senses tends to take our consciousness towards the object of the senses but krishna consciousness means to use them use the propensity towards krishna serving krishna that is the most important aspect of waiting engage all the faculties in the service of krishna and that is why i can see from mohini i can see the way she is that krishna consciousness has saved her saved her from a very difficult situation her body is suffering but she is not affected by that she but she is she knows that actually what matters is not just to enjoy this body but what really matters is to engage the body in the service of krishna so you know what the difficulties are there how does it matter and it's amazing that at such a young age she realized that she understood that so <clears throat> this is a big lesson as i was saying like a time will come when the body will become incapacitated with old age with disease it will come everybody will have to go through that everybody's body will become old will become diseased will become ineffective incapable 
then what should we do? Should we lament? In material world we see what people are doing, they're simply trying to get back, get into the healthy body. Even when they're becoming 